Hey my TJ squad, blessings to you all and today I'm just going to share a quick turn call meal recipe or as some people call it polenta. Alright, so here I am going in with some coconut milk. Yes, some people use water, that's fine if you want, but here I am going in with some coconut milk and I'm going to bring this to a boil. Yes, yes, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go in with some mixed vegetable, washed, and I pick out a few of the, the ones that I don't want in there, so feel free to do the same. So, and here I am, I'm going in with the good old Grace cock soup. Yes, so I'm just going to pour that in there, mind you this recipe is from me so if you don't have any cock soup whatever seasoning you have and you like that is what you're going to do and here i am going in with some natural seasoning the good old scotch bonnet pepper some thyme some bay leaves some cloves yes and a few pimento seeds yes and here i go i'm going in now with a little butter you can use whatever butter you like, butter of your choice. Or if you want to eliminate the butter, that's also fine. Because remember, you're doing this to your likings. Alright, so here I am. My pot is bubbling, boiling. <laughs> yes, so we get that going. <clears throat> and I went in with some salt, some pink salt. So you feel free to put what you want. As I said, if you have any other seasoning that you want to put in it, then it's fine. I don't like to trouble much of this. So here you have it. And you see the cornmeal? Some people like to just pour the cornmeal in. But I like to add some water to the cornmeal itself similar to when you're making porridge because it softens the cornmeal and when you're making and you're turning the cornmeal it gives it a softer texture so i always put water in the cornmeal itself you understand me and give it a few minutes so it, it kind of softens the cornmeal yeah, so you can choose to do that or not and here I am because you have to stir constantly because you want to stir so it gets thick but I don't like when it has these big chunky lumps as some people like it so yes so you see even though it's it's been thickened you realize that it, it still have a nice smooth texture all right yes I'm just wiping some spinach so never mind me So you have to stir constantly and this is on low heat right because you don't want it to burn all right so here i am so you and you cook this for 25 to 30 minutes depending on the cornmeal that you have because this is refined cornmeal so it didn't take the 30 minutes or so now bear in mind when you're cooking you constantly um keep stirring because you want it to move around on the pot and for everything to be cooked evenly the heat to penetrate through everything and just cook it evenly and nicely and voila here we're done and it smells good i just tasted it but i could not allow you to see it and look at this so you see here i plate it with some some cayenne pepper shrimp and fried shrimp and you see even on the plate you see it still looks soft let me tell you because this is this is for someone that I'm going to give it to I'll have some without the shrimp but I can tell you this is delightful this was good so you can go ahead and you can go ahead and prepare it add whatever seasoning you like look how delightful this look look how appealing yes so go ahead try the recipe and let me know 
so again my beautiful people try the recipe and you see it is soft moist and delicious so go ahead and give me a feedback in the comment section but guess what thank you guys for watching and before you go remember to like comment share and subscribe to this channel blessings to you all much love bye Thank you.